hello and welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out another one of my videos. Today I'm really excited to be sharing this with you because it's actually been on like my to record and to film list for a while now, but I want to share with you the top 10 indie brands that I am honestly the most intrigued to try in the very near future. Like these are brands that I have been eyeing and every time they come out with a release I'm always like, ooh, I want to get it. So yeah, I just thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys what brands those are, what is kind of like in my sights right now, and what I hope to like in the next year, so like, you know, 2018, because we're nearly at the end of 17, but by the end of like next year, I would really have liked to at least try one product from each of these brands and just experience some indie makeup, because um, I just really, I can get into a rut with just buying stuff that are available at Ulta and Sephora, and you know, are part of, uh, owned from these bigger brand or bigger makeup companies, and there are a lot of indie brands out there, and there are a lot of really good indie brands out there. And I like the idea of supporting smaller businesses. Uh, the first person that I saw doing this type of video was Samantha March, so I will leave her own video down below. I think it was seven brands she wanted to try in 2017. Um, I'll leave that video linked below so you can go check it out and see what her picks were. But yeah, with all that said, let's just dive right into the video and kind of get into what top 10 brands that I would really like to try next year. So the first brand on the top of my list is definitely, hands down, Melt Cosmetics. I have been eyeing their eyeshadow stacks for so long. Every time they come out with a new one, I'm like, and then even their original one, whatever, uh, Dark Matters, I think is what it's called, uh, stack, it just looks so pretty. The Rust stack looks amazing, and even that colorful one, even though that's a lot of money to spend on a few co bright colors that I don't personally wear a lot is pretty um, but yeah they're just they're just so beautiful and I'm always eyeing them and I'm always wanting to buy it but I've never bit the bullet so um, yeah this is definitely a company that by the time next year ends I better have one of their stacks <laughs> in my collection because I am always drooling over their stacks it, it just looks so cool I like the idea of just a different type of packaging for eyeshadow products yes it's a little bulkier but it's just neat and different and ah, I always hear great things about them. I just like the aesthetics of the brand and the feel that I get and the packaging is very unique. So yes, hopefully soon I will finally just bite the bullet and buy one of those stacks to try for myself because they just look so pretty. So. The next brand I would like to try is from Beauty Bakery. Now they have uh, liquid lipsticks that I've been very curious to try for a while now, but they've recently been re releasing really pretty palettes that have also caught my eye and I just like the, the, I just like the packaging. It's cute, you know, Beauty Bakery. Everything's kind of like around this bakery theme, and it's just really, really sweet. Um, right now they have a palette called, I think it's their Ice Creams palette, and it's just, it's really pretty. I'm looking at their um, Instagram page right now, and it's got a mix of mattes and shimmers, which is what I like. There's an orange shade. Um, there's a really pretty, like, almost taupey gray. Even the shades alone, like, the shades I uh, like, but also just the packaging is adorable. Like, just for example, they have a Beauty Bakery Illuminator, and so icy, but it's, like, in a, a small little ice cream container type product. And, I mean, maybe these aren't, like, the most practical, but... I'm okay with that. Like they have a flower, a bag of flour and it's their setting powder. Like how cute is that? I would just like to own a couple products from this brand and one, see if they're, you know, any good. I hear really good things about their liquid lipsticks, but two, also it would be super cute. Like I love the mint tops to their liquid lipsticks and yeah, that's just a brand that I would really like to try and I just find the packaging very uh, engaging and cute, almost like the bomb, but even cuter, if that makes sense. But it, it's just, it attracts me and it pulls me and the, the, the baker in me <laughs> comes out and I just, that is definitely a brand that I wanna try sometime soon. Another brand I would like to try is um, Ronnie Cosmetics. And if you don't know, Ronnie Cosmetics was started by Total Makeup Junkie 101 um, here on YouTube, Ashani. And she recently started, I think this past year, um, started it with uh, regular lipsticks and then she came out with liquid lipsticks. And when she came out with regular lipsticks, like the packaging for one, she gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Packaging is gorgeous on these products. But it was just, a, it was a shimmery metallic, I think, finished lipstick and that didn't really intrigue me. So I was like, I'll just wait and see what she comes out with next. And then she came out with like a metallic liquid lipstick topper to those lipsticks. So now I really wanna get one of each and just try it. I mean, metallic lips really are my thing. And it might not be metallic, but they have like a shimmery finish to them. I forget what she calls them. But um, they're not really my thing. But I really wanna support her because she's been a, a YouTuber that I 
one, enjoy all of her videos. She's very thorough and honest and just straight to the point in her to, in her review videos. And uh, two, I love the packaging and I, I just, I want to support a small business and I think I would enjoy the liquid lipsticks. So yeah, Ronnie Cosmetics is definitely something I would like to try and I mean, the packaging. Need I say more, it's gorgeous. So the next brand is a little bit of a cheat because I actually do own one of their products, but I really want to try more from Jouer and uh, specifically their liquid lipsticks. Now I own a foundation from them, but I actually like bought that secondhand off of a Facebook group. And so I've never actually purchased something from Jouer brand new um, and has haven't tried any of their lipsticks. And I always hear great things about their liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I just, I, I would really like to try some of Jouer's products. And also I hear the great things about their highlighters, but yeah, that's a whole different story. I'm not a huge highlighter person, but I am a liquid lipstick addict. So yeah, that is definitely one brand I would really like to try sometime this year. I really like, the packaging is different. It's a little, it's not my favorite when it comes to the type of style packaging, but it is different and unique, and I appreciate that in a brand, and I like how they like, can connect together and stuff like that. So yeah, Jouer is definitely a brand I would like to try more of, specifically their liquid lipstick. Another brand that I want to try is Beauty Junkies, and Junkies with like two E's at the end instead of an I-E. Um, I've been eyeing this brand for a while. I was actually just talking to a beauty blogger friend of mine about trying this brand, and I haven't I tried any, not, not only like her brushes, but her makeup. Both of them uh, just seem really, really nice, and I always hear great things about the quality. Um, I originally heard about them because of their makeup brushes, um, and they were like, all the reviews I was seeing was rave reviews, and then um, now they've come out with, they have like a contour palette I've been eyeing, and uh, they have sponges and eyeshadows. You guys know I love my eyeshadows. So yeah, Beauty Junkies is a brand that I don't really hear a lot talked about on YouTube. Maybe I'm just not following the people who are talking about them, but I definitely hear about it in the beauty blogger side of things. Like I, I read a lot of posts on them. So um, yeah, but all in all, I'd like to try their brand, specifically their brushes, just because I really enjoy good quality brushes that are affordable, such as Sigma, and they're kind of comparable in price. So I'd really like to give their brushes a try, and then also their makeup, because I always have room for more eyeshadows. I just did a declutter, so now I can I can get some new makeup, right? That's how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, Beauty Junkies is definitely a brand that I want to try, just try and see uh, see how the quality is, see how I like their products, and just give it a go. So the next brand that I really want to try sometime soon is Colored Rain, specifically the Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. I have been eyeing that since it originally released as limited edition and at the time I just didn't want to spend the money on it. I wasn't sure how the quality would be and then it was just crazy around launch day and I was like, oh, that's okay. But when I heard it was going to be released as a permanent palette, I was like, great, now I can actually get it and try it without having to, um, you know, fight the crowd and whatnot. And so it's been out for a while, but I still haven't bought it yet and I really, really, really want to. The colors in those palettes speak to me. There's like oranges and purples and those two just sound really pretty and I hear great things about the quality and yeah I mean I, I know Color Green also has liquid lipsticks that I've been curious to try but ever since they like first showed a picture of that eyeshadow palette like that's all I can think of when I think about Colored Rain, and I would really, really, really like to try it sometime soon. So maybe in the new year. Right now, I've just I've got so many new eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased or received that I just I can't justify buying another palette right now. I, I just feel too overwhelmed. I have a lot to go through, but that is definitely a purchase that maybe in the new year when all these holiday releases calm down, I would definitely like to finally get the Queen of Hearts palette and give it a try because I always hear great things about it and I'm missing out. Another brand that I would like to try is SL Miss Glam. Now, if you like girly and if you like pink and if you like just pretty, like I just think of tutus and pink and whatnot, you gotta check out SL Miss Glam. Her brand as a whole is just so cutesy girly um, and pinky and fun, but um, her brushes are also that same kind of fun color and she also has like a mint colored brushes, which I really think is pretty. I like that mint color to the brushes, but I just think it's a gorgeous brand. Anytime I see her brushes, I'm always like, oh, that's an SL Miss Glam brush because they just stand out and they're gorgeous and yeah. You guys, I am such an eyeshadow and a makeup brush junkie that I just I just can't get enough of them. So I definitely would like to try that brand, even though I have so many brushes right now. I need to try more. Another brand that I've been curious to try for some time is Saucebox Cosmetics, specifically their eyeshadow palettes. Not only do they just look nice, and I like eyeshadow palettes, so I'm drawn to it, but also the some of the packaging is a lot of fun. Like they did a mermaid 
ish one. It was like a shell. I'll try to stick pictures here because you guys don't want to hear me try to describe things. But yeah, I just, I really want to try some of their eyeshadow palettes. I don't hear too many people talking about them, and I'm just curious to try them. Anytime I stumble across, uh, see a new photo of theirs on my Instagram page, I kind of click over and start perusing all their, um, their eyeshadow products and eyeshadow palettes, and I'm like, ooh, like, I want to try that. But I just haven't bit the bullet to try anything yet. Um, if you have any recommendations, let me know down below because that's a brand that I'm just intrigued in, but I don't really have a specific product in mind that's like, yes, whenever I do buy from them, that's what I'm getting. So let me know your recommendations down below. So this next brand isn't really uh, the brand in total, but the makeup side of the brand. It's Paula's Choice. Um, you guys know I've talked about her skincare products tons of times, but I've actually never tried out any of her makeup, and I feel like I should because I love her skincare so much that I chances are I'm gonna like her, um, her makeup. And also, like, I'm recommending Paula's Choice all the time. I feel like it'd be kind of well-informed or maybe I'm just making excuses, but like a well-informed to be able to say like skincare is awesome, makeup not, or skincare and makeup are great. Just so you guys know when I'm talking about the brand, you know, what I recommend and what I don't recommend from the brand or if I recommend everything from the brand. I don't know at this point because I've never tried her makeup. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's at least the excuses I'm giving myself as to why I need to try her makeup. Okay, and then last up, the brand that I really would like to try is MBA Cosmetics. Now, if you guys don't follow Agape Love Girls, Maria here on YouTube, she talks about MBA Cosmetics all the time. Her her eye looks using their um, glitter shadows are amazing. I think they're pressed glitters because they're in a little pan, and I am just always so intrigued, but I have never purchased anything from MBA Cosmetics, and I really want to. And uh, yeah, I think I would definitely order probably a couple of their glitters, but then also their mattes because I hear the, their uh, single eyeshadows are also really great. I don't know if they have any eyeshadow palettes. You guys know palettes are my thing, but that's okay. I will try singles as well and put them in a palette. But yeah, MBA Cosmetics, it's just, it intrigues me hearing Maria talk about it, seeing her use it all the time and seeing the good quality of the um, eyeshadows that she uses. I am definitely, definitely intrigued, and I really just need to get on <laughs> get on board with that and just order some stuff and try it out. So hopefully in the new year, sometime during 2018, after the holiday craziness has died down. So that wraps up my top 10 indie makeup brands that I really want to try. And uh, these brands are just ones that just draw me in either for packaging or just the aesthetics of the company or the products that they have or just what I hear about them by the fact that they have beautiful makeup brushes. I think I said a couple times throughout the video, let me know your recommendations, but any brand that I mentioned, if you purchase from them and have a product that you love, please let me know what product that is down below. Um, I would love to hear your suggestions and kind of get a wish list going for each of these brands so that when the time comes for me to purchase from them, I have your recommendations in the back of my head and if I have a certain threshold to hit to meet free shipping, I can do that because this mama never likes to pay for shipping if she doesn't have to. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this wasn't too lengthy and boring, but thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.